What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners video for today's five-game MLB main slate, courtesy of Osmo.com. It's a short slate today and one with an earlier-than-usual start time of 6.40 East Coast time, so be aware of that. But as many wives and girlfriends will say, it's not about the size, it's about the power. So I'm still going to give you guys a chance to win a free month of Osmo Plus with a double dong pick. All you have to do is right now like the video and comment the guy you think is going to hit two home runs today down below. If you're correct, you'll be entered to win that free month of Osmo Plus. So right now, like the video and comment that double dong pick down below. But for now, let's get on to our first corner on today's slate. The top pitchers and James Paxton going against Baltimore to be the top owned option industry-wide. Paxton gets 3.9 implied runs against him. He's expected to be the number one owned pitcher on DraftKings with 54%, on FanDuel with 28%, and on Yahoo with 66%. Paxton has been a good strikeout pitcher all year with a 29.5% K rate, but his 1.5 whip and 4.3% on run rate have been issues versus good teams, which Baltimore is not, with a 27.4% K rate in their projected lineup. If ever there were a time to trust James Paxton, and this is it because Baltimore is not good and should offer some strikeout upside. That said, it wouldn't surprise me with his ownership that high if he does give up production, so I could see coming under the field here with his ownership so high on every single site today. Joey Lucchesi at Seattle should also find some ownership today with 4.4 implied runs against him. He's expected to be the number two owned on DraftKings with 44% and on fans with 27%, and he's not available on Yahoo's slate today. Seattle has had a bad 26.1% K rate versus left-hand pitching, but a 195 ISO on the air, so Lucchesi's 22.8% K rate can see a boost, but the 201 ISO he gives up to right-handed batters could be a problem as chalk. This is a short slate chalk full of seriously flawed pitchers, and Lucchesi is no exception. I would prefer to go to Pax on his price, but I don't mind coming close to the field on Lucchesi because there really aren't a lot of better options out there. And Zach Gallon versus Philly will also have some ownership today with 4.3 implied runs against him. Gallon will be number two owned on Yahoo with 59%, but he'll be less owned elsewhere. Gallon has been legitimately good in a somewhat limited 2019 sample with a 1.2 whip and a 28.5% K rate with a 114 ISO allowed, but Philly's lineup is improved with only Scott Kingery and Jason Vargas. Vargas, the only hitters under a 101 WRC plus versus right-hand pitching in their lineup. On Yahoo, where he's a bit cheaper, I could definitely see matching the field on Gallon, but I also like him on DraftKings and FanDuel as well, where I think he has a good strikeout ability and a match versus the Philly team who is improved, but still has some weaknesses that Gallon can take advantage of. And now onto our next corner of the top stacks on the slate, the San Diego stack versus Yusei Kikuchi should be the top owned option industry-wide. San Diego gets 5.1 implied runs, and Kikuchi has been smoked by power all year with a 246 ISO and a poor 5.2 XFIP allowed. Kikuchi has been even worse versus left-hand batters with a 6.2 5x and 292 ISO allowed, while his low 16.1% K rate should mean that he can give up production to just about anybody in this lineup. Fernando Tatis, Manny Machado, Hunter Renfro, those are the guys you're really going to want in your stack, but I think you can fill it out with any of the other guys in the lineup and have a decent shot of getting production given how bad Kikuchi has been this year. And a Boston stack versus Glenn Sparkman should also be popular today with 6.9 implied runs for them, which are a slate high. Sparkman doesn't miss bats with a 13% K rate and just a 7.5% swing strike rate going against the Boston team was a 280 batting average versus right-hand pitching in 2019. Left Left-handed batters have generated bigger power versus Sparkman with a 252 ISO and a 6.6 XFIP compared to a 150 ISO and a 4.1 XFIP to right-handed batters. So in a park that enables lefty power, stacking up on those bats is a way to differentiate from the chalk Boston stack. Boston's going to be a really high on stack for the expected players, but I think going to some of the lefties is the move here. A guy like Jackie Bradley is going to go unowned, even though he's getting a really good spot against Sparkman. And a Milwaukee stack versus Trevor Williams will also pick up some ownership today with 4.9 implied runs for them. Milwaukee projects for high ownership again, despite Williams being mostly middling with just a 1.3 whip and an okay 4.9 XFIP. Williams also doesn't give up a ton of power with a 158 ISO, so while Milwaukee's big power with a 196 ISO can create production, it's not an ideal spot for them to be high owned. Milwaukee's been very popular in this Pittsburgh series, and I don't mind them giving that the power they have. But much like yesterday with Stephen Brault, I think this is a spot where the pitcher isn't as bad as it may seem given the ownership going against them. Now onto our next corner, the lower owned options on the slate, and an Arizona stack going against Jason Vargas is one of the teams that I like. Arizona gets 5.2 implied runs, and the Vargas has been passable in 2019 with a 1.3 whip and a 20.3% K rate, Arizona does blast left-handed pitchers with a 115 WRC plus and a 217 ISO on the year. The park factors at Arizona will favor Vargas, but he's allowed a 200 ISO to right-handed batters over the last two seasons, and Arizona has five hitters in their projected lineup over a 202 ISO versus left-hand pitching. Vargas hasn't been as bad as it may seem, but Arizona hits lefties so well that I'm willing to go to them today without a ton of ownership expected for them despite the small slate. Eduardo Rodriguez versus Kansas City also interests me a bit with the 3.6 implied runs against him, which are a slate low. Erod's 24.3% K rate is decent on a slate of this size versus a poor Kansas City team who has a 75 WRC plus and 233 batting average versus left-hand pitching in 2019. A slate low total and a high price he mostly doesn't deserve will throw people off his scent, but Erod can offer some upside with five Kansas City hitters under a 75 WRC plus versus left-hand pitching. Even though you have all those other guys in that cheaper price range, it's hard to get to Erod, but I think having some exposure to him makes sense because he does have upside and it should be a safe spot versus a poor Kansas City team. And a Pittsburgh stack versus Drew Pomerantz interests me a bit with the 4.7 implied runs for them. Pittsburgh's been bad this year versus left-hand pitching with a 75 
194 WRC plus and a 139 ISO. The 246 ISO that Pomeranz allows to right-handed batters can heal some of their issues. Pomeranz's 26.3% K rate offers some theoretical potential as well, but Pittsburgh has had the number two hitting park on the year and should field a righty heavy lineup against Palm's 1.8 whip and 6 X fit versus right-handed batters. Based on the ownership so far, it looks like people really won't be on Pittsburgh today, but I think they have big potential going against Pomeranz in a positive hitting park given the production he's allowed going back to last year. Now onto our last quarter of the one off, so Raphael Devers going against Glenn Sparkman is one that intrigues me. Devers has a 245 ISO and a 128 WRC plus versus right-hand pitching, while Sparkman gives up that massive 252 ISO and 6.6 X fit with just a 13.5% K rate to left-handed batters. Devers has been really good on the area. He's in a park that favors lefty power going against a pitcher who gives up lefty power. It seems like an ideal spot to go to him, even if you do want to get that full Boston stack. Cattell Marte versus Jason Vargas also interests me as a one-off. Marte has been far superior versus left-hand pitching with a 286 ISO and a 153 WRC plus, as well as just the 12% K rate while Vargas gives up that 200 ISO and 4.2% home run rate to right-handed batters. Arizona's park with the roof close isn't a great hitting environment, but I still think it's a really strong spot here because Marte has blasted left-handed pitching for an extended period of time. And Jose Ozuna versus Drew Pomerantz also interests me as a one-off. Ozuna's looked good in 2019 and he brings a 255 ISO and a 124 WRC plus versus left-hand pitching, with Pomerantz allowing a high 246 ISO to right-handed batters, along with a slate high 8.8% barreled ball rate. There are a handful of hitters in this Pittsburgh lineup who can take advantage of those splits for Pomerantz, but I do think Ozuna's in the best spot here. And he's really been good so far in his 2019 limited sample size. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts on today's short slate. So right now, please like the video. And also, if you want to win that free month of Awesome Plus, comment your double dong pick down below. Yesterday, we had a bunch of guys guessing double dongs correctly. And I'm going to read them off real fast. We've got Luke Altmeyer, Uncle Sleep, Jesus Cruz, Earl Fountain, John G, Andrew Mott, Matthew Protowell, and Andrew Collins all got it right. A bunch of regulars in there as well. So great job by you guys. I am very proud of each and every one of you. Unfortunately, only one of them can win that free month. So I ran the random Excel generator, which weights it based upon people who are commenting the most. And the winner is Andrew Mock. So Andrew, email me at chris at osmo.com. And everybody else, great job. Sorry you couldn't get the free month now. But keep trying because we'll be giving away every single day here on the Four Corners. And of course, if you don't want to wait for that free month, you can also use this promo code switch and hedge for half off your first month of Osmo Plus. Get all the ownership projections, the player projections, the deep dive column, the lineup builder, the top stacks tool, a million different things that'll help you make better MLB DFS lineups for every slate. So right now, use that promo code switch and hedge to get half off your first month of Osmo Plus. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I'm basically your best friend on YouTube spending every day with you guys. So let's take it to the next level. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I'll be back on Live Before Lock later today. So subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when we go live leading up to lock. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow for another Four Corners video. So thank you guys for watching and good luck.